Okay, so what's what's the plan here? I'm seeing sideways downspouts on the side of the barn here. This one goes in there like that. You watching, Barbara? That goes in there like that. And that comes all the way around from the other side. And then we have a gutter that we got from our friend Dick Gardner's trash. And we got It's two recycled. Caps. One end cap is the right color, one end cap was gray, but Dick had white paint, so we painted the white the cap that we had. This gutter goes just like this. It's just, just like this. That gutter drops into it here, this gutter drops into it here. We have a little thing comes off here and goes right into the tank. So now I'm getting a lesson in uh, building gutters. So uh, right down in front of me here, I've got a short section of gutter. I already traced a little downspout thingamajigger. So I had to cut that out, drill the holes. I've got to put that through, um, silicon caulk it, pop rivet it, and then uh, that's going to go down into the water barrel. Now here's another tip for you. No matter how excited you are about your rainwater collection, don't fill that jug half full of water right now because it weighs about a thousand pounds and i just realized that if that was empty we could have just moved the darn thing out of the way for putting up our little section of gutter there and instead i was uh, precariously teetering on a ladder over the top of that thing to put up that gutter so uh yeah empty water containers much easier to move out of the way first uh, so now what we're doing is just uh, rinsing the roof. I uh, needed to clear out the gutters anyway, so we figured take this time, wash the whole thing down. And then we could also check to see the flow. So here is um, up from the opposite side, comes down here into this gutter, goes over down into this one, and right now we're just uh, overflowing it out. And you can see how that goes. And then on the far end, it drops down over there. Right now, we're still getting a lot of roof grit. Okay, it's 6 o'clock now, and, uh, well, here's what we did in one afternoon. Uh, up on that end, we put up the adapter so that uh, the gutter from that end makes it all the way around the house. So that gutter uh, does a couple of, uh, couple of bends, comes on across the back here, over to the rainwater barrel. Now remember, originally we built a custom pallet with even a notch out at the end here, and we leveled that so that this whole thing is nice and solid and stable and level. And then we cut short the original downspout, which you can see from the paint line, and that bracket used to go all the way down here. We instead cut it short, and now both sides of the gutters come down into this mini gutter, and we'll put some uh, gutter guard on this here too and then goes over to there and on down and into our cap and if you look down in here we have an aluminum big mesh screen and on the other side we have some bug screen that's just uh, threaded right in there and then uh, for designing an overflow or a woof roof wash system all we have to do is lift this up and we can design something that'll just overshoot and out down here and possibly even uh, use to top off this pond and waterfall system over here so until next time, uh, keep building stuff.